Uh, hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sirisha Singh. I'm a consultant dermatologist and cosmetic dermatologist. Uh, we're going to do a talk on chemical peeling. Uh, almost all of us have heard about chemical peeling, uh, but uh, brought down to the basics, what it essentially is, is uh, chemical peels are highly acidic substances. Our skin has a normal pH of 5.5 and all chemical peels have a pH of about 2.5, 3, 3.5 and some of them even as low as pH of 1.5. So what happens when these acidic reagents are applied on the skin is that they take away the top coat of the skin which is comprised of dead cells. Our skin has multiple layers of cells. It has about 15 to 20 layers of cells out of which the top 5 to 7 layers are dead cells. And it is these dead layers of cells which are stripped off during the process of chemical peeling. Broadly speaking, chemical peeling can be divided into three groups. It could be superficial, it could be medium level chemical peels or it could be deep chemical peels. Deep chemical peels are usually not carried out in the Indian uh, skin types because there is a very high risk of pigmentation associated with deep chemical peels. And there are simpler procedures to achieve uh, the same amount of benefit as a deep chemical peel would achieve. Uh, a superficial chemical peel are usually the glycolic peels or the lactic acid peels. These are very superficial. Uh, there is no downtime, that is there is no recovery time of the skin. These procedures are lunchtime procedures. You can get them done during your lunchtime and you can go back to work straight after. The only difference that one would notice would be a glow in your skin. There is no visible peeling after these superficial chemical peels. Uh, in medium level chemical peels, what happens is uh, the reagent is applied on your skin and after it has been neutralized, you would notice that a day later or a couple of days later, your skin becomes tight, feels stretched and feels flaky and there is visible peeling of the skin which could happen for about a week. Uh, usually if you have any important uh, social event or, a, or an appointment or a meeting that is very crucial for you, I recommend that you don't get the medium depth peel. But for your usual activities going to office or your usual work at home, the, the, although there is some amount of visible peeling, you can easily mask it by using a moisturizer or a light foundation and you can get it done during uh, your regular working life as well. Next we come to who is the candidate for getting a chemical peel and why get a chemical peel done. Uh, you can get a chemical peel done if you have dull or uneven skin tone. Uh, if you have under eye or dark circles to reduce the amount of pigmentation around the eyes, it is very effective in those people who suffer from pigmentation which could be pigmentation due to photo damage or pigmentation due to the pregnancy induced pigmentation like melasma. It can also be effective in those people with freckles especially if the freckles are superficial. Uh, sometimes in people with acne, uh, chemical peels are combined along with medical treatment for faster benefit and to reduce the amount of scars that happen in people with acne. Uh, people with acne who have scars which are flat and pigmented or just brownish in appearance could also benefit from getting a chemical peel done. A chemical peel is also effective in reducing the early signs of aging like the fine lines and a lot of women get chemical peeling done as an anti-aging procedure. In which case what we usually recommend is you get a monthly chemical peeling done along with your home care routine of cleansing, toning, moisturizing and using some active ingredients at home and instead of getting a facial done once a month we recommend a plain superficial glycolic peel to be done once a month at the clinic. A lot of people ask me, uh, doctor is there something natural which will also work as a peel for us? And the answer is yes. Uh, a lot of fruits especially the citrus fruits have natural acids in them, they have citric acid and as we discussed at the beginning of the shoot itself that uh, chemical peels are generally acids. Uh, anything acid like your acidity like your citrus acids from your citrus fruits like oranges, lemons etc could function as fruit peels at home. Anything acidity from your kitchen which are usually the sour food stuff that you find in your kitchen like vinegar and uh, yogurt are also acidity and they can also function as natural peels for your skin. The difference between getting a fruit peel or a natural food derivative peel and getting a chemical peel is that the chemical peel is usually stronger and it is a more controlled environment because when we do a peel we know the exact pH of the ingredient that we are using and we know how much time we need to keep it for and we keep a watch on your skin while we are doing the chemical peel to minimize the side effects. Uh, if you still wish to do a fruit peel at home or a peel made of uh, yogurt or lemon. 
uh, you can go ahead with it but as soon as you feel sir, any amount of itching or tingling of your skin I would strongly recommend that you wash it off with water and apply a soothing lotion on your face to minimize the risk of burns due to these natural peeling processes. If you have any further queries regarding a chemical peel or whether or not you are an ideal candidate for a chemical peel or what sort of a peel would be more suitable for your skin type, feel free to contact me. My contact details are given in the description box below. Thank you.